East Africa Business Council has faulted the East Africa Community Secretariat and the East Africa Integration Line Ministries for failing on their mandate to promote free cross-border trade within the region. East Africa Business Council Chief Executive Director John Bosco Kalisa has urged custom agencies from the East Africa Community Integration Partner States to contribute to the goals of the East Africa Community Integration by effectively implementing the agreed upon mechanisms to completely eliminate non tariff barriers that affect efficient business flow in the region. Our intra regional trade, our taxes are not growing. Eh? We've been stuck at at 15% contribution of our tax revenue with all these efforts. We don't even get taxes. I wish we could even say uh, we, we, harassed, we harassed traders, but we also generated revenue. You don't see the, even those revenue. So what I've seen that now this has become uh, just a, an avenue for corruption, and that is, that is very frustrating. It's an avenue for corruption. We need to be bold and talk about it, why trade agencies are not doing their work. With all the infrastructure, it's not an issue of infrastructure. The, the, uh, if someone talked about the scanner, the scanners are not working. Eh? Mr. Kalisa said the East Africa Community Secretariat and the East Africa Integration Ministries have failed on their mandate to promote free cross-border trade within the region. The ministries of EAC that are here, their role is to coordinate, communicate the policies. I want to make it clear. They are responsible is to coordinate, formulate, coordinate, and communicate the policies. I will not blame the border agencies, but uh, we as institutions are also not doing the work. Our coordination role shouldn't be just when we have public-private dialogue, but it has to trickle down. Eh? It has to trickle down to the beneficiary, to the people, to the citizens who are doing trade. That's why it's, uh, we, we have the summit, we have Council of Ministers. These issues eh, should be the, the, the same that has, are cascading upwards to inform the summit. Agencies are not working together. And I think all the speakers mentioned, Tanzania, they are doing their work. Eh? Generally, the idea of one-stop border posts, it is to harmonize the procedures and the processes and the systems. But we are not doing it because each, each agency is doing their own work. And that frustrates traders. What we are hearing is frustration among people who are doing business. And that frustration trickles down. It trickles down, impacting on our prices. Eh? Prices for our consumers trickles down to cause poverty. Eh? We can't claim, claim that we have integration that is not working for the people. As I said, integration is people-centered and market-driven. So our market, we have put restrictions in our markets. He was responding to the cries of cross-border traders at the Uganda-Tanzania border point of Mutukla, who cited non-harmonized policies within the region, unnecessary delay in cargo clearance, taxation disparities, as some of the major challenges affecting their businesses. We have a challenge of high authorities. What do I mean by high authorities? Whenever we bring our complaints to our immediate supervisors they say ah, ah this one is beyond my understanding it means that there is someone who is somewhere maybe highly i would only challenge the secretariat to actually come to the ground <clears throat> east african community is not for the heads of the state we are the east africans and we are the stakeholders. So whenever you're forming up policies, then let's have a harmonized system whereby everything else is understandable to almost everybody across the board. He expressed the need for enhanced collaboration and networking by sharing trade information for increased regional integration and socio-economic transformation. That is it. That is, it. That is the spirit of integration of trade. Eh? Each country looks at it. They, they are comparative and competitive advantage, and they, they specialize there. Hmm? So let's embrace that. Let's not bring competition that is unhealthy for our region. So really the presenter, the three presenters, have articulated issues very well. So my call is that institutions need to do their work. The ESC, Secretariat, the MIAX, Minister of ESC, the Customs, and also, also the border agents, other borders like uh, Bureau of Standards. Hmm? I think we need to 
we need to, what we need to do, and this is a, commit from, a commitment from ABC, can we revive monthly joint board meetings and engagement to resolve these issues? The Musukula Cross Border Business Community and the customs agencies acknowledged the East Africa Business Council's continued support to ensure traders reap the benefits of the East Africa community integration process. ABC now sits as a clinic in all of the mission for trading information, trading portals. What are those things if you can't pull, up, pull us? Africans or Africa, they won't deal with issues unless they are being pushed up to the world. You have to know you are Africa to live. Put, push people to the limits by giving them a tool, what you do. East Africa Business Council is repositioning to build competitive economies in the East Africa region by setting up attractive business models to help domestic businesses grow their networks. These issues are not just going to end here. They are going to be escalated, elevated to the high level. This is what we've seen, and that is the reality check we've done. We've been on the ground. No one will deny that ABCCO was not in Mutukura. Yeah? We're on the ground, things are not happening. And the people have spoken, and their voice needs to be heard. So, Nashkuru Sana, Asante Sana, 